safe? Is your car safe? If not, start watching this video from now on. Let's get started. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> Let's proceed with the first component. The first component for your security camera or CCTV is the DVR. As you can see, it's a black box or whatever color it's gonna be, and it's got some inputs and outputs. We're gonna start from here. This is the video in, as you can see. This DVR got four channels, an audio output, a HD output, a VGA output as well, input audio, I'm guessing for two mics, two USB cable, one for the stick, one for the mouse, an internet cable, a power in adapter, which is 12 volts. Let me zoom in. All right, that's better, yeah? And this one, I'm guessing this could be for uh, one of those uh, spinner cameras that you can spin left and right. So this is your DVR, yeah? Basically the main box that's gonna record all the video footage. Normally, if you're gonna go for the cheaper version and stuff, this stuff is not gonna come with the hard drive inside. So take that one in mind when you purchase the DVR. All right, so this is the first component. Kind of thing. Let's proceed by opening the DVR. As you can see, it's got a screw here. It's kind of bastard thingy. Another one, damn it. The appropriate screwdriver because these screws are kind of crap, so I managed to destroy kind of this one. But I'm on my way to open it to salvage it. Or there are screwed wrong, or they are very crap or very tight, and you know, so that's why. But this is no issue, we can replace the screws later on. The back has got one, two, three screws, as you can see here. So we managed to open one. She's nice, it's put wrong one, that's why it's fucking horrible. One. Two, and try to get rid of this one as well. So we're gonna remove this one as well to see if then it's gonna come out. There you go, friends. We managed to open it up. It was kind of tricky. It was a <laughs> bastard thing. So it wasn't those two stuff on the bottom. We're gonna screw them back. All right. So we have all this stuff. This is the control board, the main stuff. So I'm just gonna put this one aside. These two, and we'll see where we're gonna connect the hard drive. I'm guessing underneath this stuff. Let's bring the hard drive. Bastard. We have the hard drive. This is the hard drive itself, a Toshiba thing. I don't know if it's gonna work to put this one inside. So as you can see it's coming with two stuff, you know, the data and the power. And it's got some screws, yeah. Which they didn't provide the screws by any chance. So let's see how we're gonna connect this one. It's gonna slide inside here. Let's see, oh, this is the hard drive. Connecting just one way, I think. Gonna go. Can we go around with this? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So this is the hard drive, and this thingy is the power of the hard drive. So I'm guessing it's the same. That's it. That's it. Hmm. I'm just sliding here. Huh? Oh, 
like that. Damn it. Let's see. On the other side, we have to adjust the bastard thing. Bringing some force. Uh huh. Uh huh. Here you go. Four screws. Here. And where are we gonna find those four screws? Damn it. We'll see. We will bloody see. We managed to find two screws and we're gonna fix the hard drive in these two screws. Let's see. Tight. So two one here, one here, or here and here. That's so the hard is in place. It's secure. Let's put this thingy back. Fucked up. A bit. And this screws. Okay, horrible. Jesus Christ. Ta da! Finally, we finished with it. So, the last thing that makes now to assemble all the stuff together, but in another video soon enough. Thanks for watching, in a minute, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Yeah!